Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Friday, November 8, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment as we look to stay red hot here on the free pick report. Before we get to that though, a quick note, free $60 account can be yours if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that, get started by by clicking on the link below the video. And of course, it comes with the DocSports.com guarantee. All right, listen, a free pick winner here last night with the Oakland Raiders as we continue to stay red hot with the free pick report. But also over at DocSports.com, big six unit winner last night in the NBA. We're now 52 and 34 with our last 86 NBA premium pick releases. And we've got another six unit elite level play going on Friday's card. Bunch of NBA games, one side happens to rate six unit status we won last night 52 and 34 run uh, don't miss out on the six unit nba play for friday it will be available 1 p.m eastern 10 a.m pacific time passing in the nhl on friday uh we'll look to be back on saturday i looked at the card already um didn't handicap it yet obviously for saturday but there's plenty of action so i would suspect that we'll be back in action on saturday slate but an nhl pass for friday uh, as far as everything else NFL, college football, all the plays go Saturday and Sunday. All the plays available right now over at DocSports.com. Uh, we head into this Saturday on a 172 and 132 college football run. Got a six-unit play, by the way, that top Saturday's card. Our six-unit football plays, six and two, 75% so far this season. On the other side, Sunday, we've got a bunch of NFL, four NFL sides for Sunday. I've got the Sunday night football game included in that, but most of all, I've got a seven unit uh, play going in Sunday's NFL. Just our second of the season, and we're 67% with our uh, six unit plays in the NFL so far this season. And now we're going to up it to a seven unit play. And again, just our second of the season. We told you we had an eight unit play in all likelihood going this week, but by the time it came time to post plays on Thursday after cutting uh, Thursday's video around 1 a.m. Pacific on Thursday morning. Here's the thing, man. The injury report came across and we got a couple of injuries that we didn't like. Guys listed as questionable and uh, we don't force big plays. Uh, so here's a situation where we said, well, we can't put an eight unit stamp on this particular football side for Sunday. It's got to have all the ingredients before it can be an eight unit play. And that includes, obviously, uh, definitely healthy players to your key players on your team. And again, a couple of guys who are listed as questionable, but we're not willing to take that chance with your money or with my bankroll when it comes to calling something an eight unit play. So we don't have one this week, unfortunately. However, fortunately, we do have a seven unit play. And as I mentioned, this NFL run six, one and one the last couple of Sundays, 76 and 51, 60% with our last 127 decisions in the NFL, couple of pushes in that mix. Uh, so again, the NFL continues to win. We've got the seven unit play, lead play on Sunday, four play package in the NFL. And it's also included with four plays from Saturday's college football, including that big six unit play. So go grab them all right now as far as football is concerned they're all available by the way cfl playoffs begin this weekend i've got sides on both of sunday's games they're available right now we're 112 and 81 with our current cfl long-term run so we look to go 2-0 uh, with this week's playoffs in the cfl those plays available as we speak in college basketball finally feels like a card we can sink our teeth into i've got four college basketball sides for friday they'll all be available at 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific over at DocSports.com. And let's sweep. And if we do, we would extend our November college basketball run to 104 and 75 going back a few seasons now. All right, that's a lot to talk about. We got it out of the way. Uh, let's get to the free pick. We won here again last night uh, with the Oakland Raiders. The late win over the Chargers. And boy, does Phillip Rivers look like it's time to call it quits almost. He was missing open receivers again all afternoon. Basically what he's done all season long. And uh, the Oakland Raiders were able to get the win. Nice game again out of Jacobs. What a find. What a draft pick. Uh, he's the MVP of that offense in Oakland. No doubt about it. But let's get to our free pick now for Friday and look to cash again. Uh, this time we turn to college football on Friday night. It is Oregon State hosting 
taking Washington. Uh, the Huskies laying a lot of points here, about 10. I think it's too high. I'm taking the points with the Beavers in this one. And I think Oregon State's catching UW at the right time. Now, Washington last week went up against Utah and led late in the third quarter, 21 to 13. You get an interception thrown by Jacob Eason. Next thing you know, Utah reels off the final, what, 20 points of that game and wins the contest and covers the point spread. But again, it was a situation where UW normally under that situation wraps up a win. Didn't get it done. Turnover killed him with that interception. And I'm not so sure of this team's mindset now because last week they had a chance to play spoiler, kind of turn around their season a little bit. And now what's left to play for? I know they want to go out there and win. I know they got a good head coach in Peterson. But again, I think they're going up against a, a team that's going to be too tough tonight, especially laying a 10 spot, which is where the number is right now as I cut this video. And as far as Oregon State's concerned, man, they've already won as underdogs, one outright against UCLA, Cal, and then of course most recently they blew the doors off Arizona at Arizona as a four and a half point dog by a final score of 56 to 38. Oregon State, by the way, they're on a six and one spread run. Meanwhile, Washington has covered just four of their last 15 Pac-12 games. This year, they're simply mediocre on both sides of the line of scrimmage. At least that's the way they've been playing. So we're going to recommend a play on Oregon State plus the big points at home over Washington. Again, the Oregon State Beavers, your free pick. Don't forget all the football plays, college football and NFL, including the six unit in college. We look to go to seven and two with our six unit football plays. The seven unit in the NFL, we look to win all four and go to what would be 80 and 51 with our NFL current run. So grab all the plays right now in football. NBA six unit available 1 p.m. Eastern on Friday. College basketball, four sides available Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. Don't miss out on any plays on Friday. And again, we'll look to cash that free pick with Oregon State in college football, plus the points. Real quick note, my UFC for Saturday will be posted no later than 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday night. Also, I do expect to be right back here with another free video, free pick video for Saturday, no later than 10 p.m. Pacific on Friday night. Give you some time uh, to be able to jump on our free pick for Saturday if you happen to agree with that play. So right back here, no later than 10 p.m. Pacific on Friday night, maybe even a little bit earlier. Okay, man, best of luck on Friday. Uh, let's put it in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those of you who have done so thus far. Let's have a big winning day on Friday. Talk to you late Friday night, early Saturday morning.